The Brookdale Jersey Blues women's soccer team are national champions for the first time in program history. Hi and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source of what's happening in and around our campus. I'm Tim Cattlefamo and joining me today is Caitlin Miller, Assistant Athletics Director and Head Coach of the women's soccer team. Thank you so much for joining us today, Coach Miller. Thank you for having me. Now, first of all, congratulations on winning the national championship. It's the first time in the program's history and the first time for the women's soccer team. Take us through the year. Sure. Um, this was the first preseason um, through all the years that I've been coaching that we had a full squad right from the beginning. And we had 16 student athletes who really came out and just were willing to work hard every single day. So right from the get-go, we had such a strong team. And the best part about the program was all of the girls got along together. That's definitely so a plus. So that, that helps when we get into those games that were a little bit tougher than others. Um, but I'll tell you what, just a great group of student athletes who really came out um, to work and were, were motivated to get to where we got to. Great, great, very, very good stuff. What was the emotional feeling of the players throughout the year? I know that you had said earlier in the week that they had lost a game early in the season. I believe it was in late August, and that really kind of fired the players up, and they didn't ever want to have that feeling again. Take us through that. Talk us through that. So um, we went up to upstate New York for a tournament and that first tournament game we lost two to one and it wasn't because the team was better uh, it was just because on that day they were able to finish um, better than we were so the girls really did not like that feeling and from then on they all just kind of got together and they said hey listen we're gonna do whatever we have to do to get through these next game and to not end up at a point like we did in, in upstate New York and I will tell you after that game the girls came together in a way that I have never seen before and won the next 17 straight games. So That's pretty incredible. Yeah, Just who the, who would have thought that a loss um, could turn an entire season around? Wow. So it was good. That's pretty incredible. Now tell us about the actual championship game on November 10, 2013. It was in upstate New York, and you were telling me it was raining, snowing, everything that could have gone wrong as far as weather was concerned, and it was really cold out there. Take us through that. So that championship game on Sunday, we'd already played two soccer games already um, in the tournament, and one of the biggest jokes about the season was the sun always came out for Brookdale, whether during preseason or practice, it would be raining right before practice and then it would stop, or the weather would hold off until practice was over. So the girls were always like, oh man, we could never miss a practice or um, get a game canceled. And right before that game started, because it had snowed earlier in the day, the sun came out for like a brief, like two, three minutes. So the girls, I think that motivated them. They're like, you know what, okay. Maybe a sign. Yeah, this is a sign and this is it. And throughout 90 minutes of play, we went through snow, sleet, hail, rain, mm -hmm. and um, high speed winds. And I will tell you the emotion, the emotions of the girls were at an all time high because we came off, it was two nothing at halftime. And then it was 2-1 really quick once the second half started. Then it was 3-1. And about 30 minutes left in the game, I was standing on the sideline, and I just, I didn't feel right. You know, I looked at all the girls, and I said, the game is not over. You still have 30 minutes left to play. And at that point, it had started to snow. And Mohawk Valley scored two quick goals on us. So it was 3-3. And with five minutes left to go, Kira Holman takes a corner, and Amanda Anastasia runs in, heads the ball on the back of the net, and we put the ball in. 4-3, and every emotion that I think any of the girls could have experienced, they did throughout that 90 minutes of play because it was truly a championship game. And the weather didn't help us, but the weather ended up making us stronger. Definitely. So we're running a little bit short on time. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the team this about year? About the team this year. Well, with seven uh, returners and eight incoming freshmen, we have the perfect combination to be able to achieve the success that we did last year, and I'm looking forward to see what this team is capable of doing. All right. Well, Caitlin uh, Miller, thank you so much for joining us. Coach Miller, great season. Good luck this year. Thank you so much. All right. That was Coach Caitlin Miller. For more information or to watch us on demand, please log on to brookdalecc.edu. I'm Tim Catofamo. Thank you for watching Brookdale Newsmakers, and we'll see you next time.